Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, and I'm addicted to Rocket League. If you enjoy this video, please get a job at a fortune cookie factory and replace all of the little messages inside the cookies with something like, Hi there, if you don't subscribe to Modest Pelican Gaming, you will have five years of bad luck and also get syphilis, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. For those of you who don't know what Rocket League is, it's basically just soccer with cars. It sounds silly, I know, but it's still a more realistic soccer simulation than FIFA. In seriousness though, I remember when I first saw this game, I thought it looked like some colourful childish bullshit that only kids or nerds would play. Yet here I am one year later, completely hooked and a massive fan. That being said, I was right about only kids and nerds playing. Like I am part of the player base now, and I am both a massive nerd and basically a kid, as most 12 year olds are more mature than I am. Bloody little virgins. Anyway, when you start playing Rocket League, you're immediately going to realize that any gaming skill you have, like any first person shooter experience, for example, and ironically, probably any driving game game experience you have is hardly going to help you at all. Basically, you have no choice but to become a filthy disgusting noob. And honestly, it's half the fun of the game. Learning the mechanics of Rocket League may take many hours, but you will literally blow your load the first time you manage to boost your car into the air and successfully hit the ball. And once you learn a few basic skills, you head to the arena. At the lower ranks, the games are simply a cluster and no one knows what they're doing. As you advance though, you'll start to work with your teammates more and Rocket League suddenly becomes an incredibly tactical game. I'm not that highly ranked, like I sit around the diamond rank, but check out my favorite pro player called Squishy Muffins. One, what a great name. And two, check out this absolute beast. One day he is going to make a girl very happy with that insane hand-eye coordination. By far the best part of the game though is the quick chat. You know how in shooting games you can teabag someone to rub salt into the wound? Well this is similar except you can say a bunch of predetermined statements such as nice shot or what a save. Players usually don't say these statements in an encouraging way, it's more often than not meant passive aggressively. Rocket League players are the biggest bunch of sarcastic malakas out there and I absolutely love it. You can even send custom messages and tilt your opponents further with some calculated red hot banter. Check out Marto destroying this guy's confidence with the timeless childish line of tell your mum I said hi. Imagine trying to score a nice goal knowing that the opposing team's striker might be banging one of your parents. This was a pretty terrible attempt but getting inside your opponent's heads can often earn you the win. If you want to avoid being toxic just make sure you never be a dick first as there are actually quite a few good sports out there. But if they dish it out to you first they are most likely a salty little fella so hit them back to make them angry and they'll play really bad. Badly. It's all just mind games. If you want to flex a bit, you can customize your car and make it look really cool or really stupid. I decided to change my vehicle to a pedo van and even put a sailor hat on it that literally says Captain Daddy. It's pretty damn satisfying scoring a nice flick goal in a Captain Daddy hat. And it's far more classy and elegant than telling someone you banged their mum. Where boys become men though is the 1v1 matches. There's no teammates to blame and the pressure is all on you. These these 1v1s play completely differently to the normal modes. My favorite shot is to roll the ball at the goal and then quickly destroy the opponent by boosting into them so that the ball humiliatingly rolls slowly over the line. My mates and I usually start off playing really try hard, going in to win every game and replicate what the pros do, but often by the end of the night we have started some dumbass custom game where the ball is now a giant cube and we all have special abilities. It's absolute chaos, but it's damn good fun. You know though, I actually love Rocket League. The idea is so simple in theory, but the learning curve for this game is really steep and I think that's why it's so addictive. I remember when I finally learned how to dribble, it was genuinely such a good feeling because I found the skill so hard to get the hang of. So yeah, the first two or three hours, you might be a massive noob. And compared to some players out there, after one year or so, I still am. But it's super fun and one of those games you just keep coming back to. Unless of course you're a PC player trying to play it on Steam, as apparently it's now exclusive to the Epic Store. Damn, Epic Games is really throwing that Fortnite money around. Soon they'll start buying water companies and the only way we'll be able to get any water and stay hydrated is by 
by downloading the damn Epic browser. Anyway, this was just a quick little video of one of the games I am super addicted to, but I've got a Hitman one coming on Sunday. Thank you so much to my hydrated patrons and to all of you legends for watching. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.